Hey, what's up, guys? What's good? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chris on the gram. Hey, bro, I'm doing it. I'm just out here cooling it. I gotta get that dough. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, I keep it G though. Then I do it for the people. That's it. I couldn't make it. Shout out to all my subscribers. I see you guys, man. Thank you so much for just checking me out within these past few videos. Um, really appreciate it, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, bruh. Join the crew. I'm gonna hit you with reactions from all your favorite hip hop and R&B artists, rants, raves. I talk um, a lot of SHI-ish. And I also give props here and everything else I feel like talking about, I'm gonna talk about it here on the channel, pretty much. Yo, um, follow me at Instagram, guys, at Chris on the Gram. I'm on Twitter, on X, at Chris on the Gram TV, and on TikTok, at the real Chris on the Gram TV. Yo, as you can see in the title, um, I wanted to talk about a few things. So let's kick it off with Cardi B. Um, guys, she dropped her Rolling Stone cover today for um, pretty much we're on the eve of her album coming out or not coming out, but she dropped the cover came out for rolling stone which is a huge deal if i'm not mistaken this is her second rolling stone cover which is huge and she looks amazing in the green you guys see it she looks amazing um it's i love it yo it's really dope um check out the pictures too because she's really giving you fashion giving you cardi b giving you her like i love it um i know it's been a while y'all since we've had music from cardi b of course you know it's been like what six seven years and i'm with you y'all i want the music it's feel like it's been forever she keeps saying it's coming out this year it's not coming out something happened the other day and my bad i haven't really been on my twitter or instagram or whatever in a little bit because i've been really he like knee deep in kendrick lamar and the drake beef and just playing their music and really into that space right now which i want to say that i'm happy that the male rappers are back like giving you bars and spitting because for a minute I said like you know the female rappers were pretty much holding it down like I'm like yo where the guy rappers at bro like <laughs> they all trying to be buddy buddy or they just not they're all they all sound the same it was mad boring back to Cardi B um I was a little disappointed because I seen something where she was like uh there's not an album coming whatever and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the summer to me, I thought she was just trolling because Cardi does that. She always and she's always in the midst of her feelings. She'll say something right then and there. She don't hold her tongue. She puts it out there. And I just think she was trolling, guys. Like the Rolling Stone cover, you're not just dropping that and you don't have nothing to follow up with it. Like I understand what's been going on in hip hop. You know, it's kind of overshadowing everything with the beef. But I think that Cardi has the album coming. Like, I know some of the fans are like, you know, it's been forever. We're still waiting. Um, you know, she has other deals going on business-wise with the whip shots. She's on everything. I mean, sneakers. She has cartoons. She's voiceovers. You know, and that just comes with the brand. Um, but I get that we want the music. Um, I get that. But at the same time, too, like, I think Cardi has given us a lot of music. Be Like, within these years pretty much added up to an album between the singles and the features. We have had, we have got the music. The music videos are top tier. She doesn't lack in that department. So just real quick, I wanna to touch on what Cardi B said, some of the quotes in the Rolling Stone magazine. Um, she said about paving the way for new female rappers. People from every single label have told me this to my face. They started signing new female rappers after I got signed. And I can totally see that guys like let's not front on cardi b's come up like this woman um was on you know love of hip-hop of course dj self i think was managing her or didn't want to manage her or whatever she didn't come in with a little wayne or a biggie or a jay-z or a trick daddy like the normal way or fat joe like the normal blueprint that the females came in with 
with the man co-signing you. Cardi B really did it from the ground up. That needs to be respected. All the girls that followed up after her to come out on their own. Now, granted, the beef between Nicki and Remy Ma, that really kind of broke down some doors there. Um, but with Cardi B, it's like, I think that her first album did so phenomenally well, grabbed the Grammy, that the pressure is totally on. And I get that. Like, I could understand the nervousness, the jitters, the continue with your career, just being in a different space than you were um, since your first album. I just want to make sure I just touch up on what I want to say about Cardi B. Like, I know a lot of her fans are pissed off and they're like, uh, you know, she might come up online and cuss y'all out. Like, she's not the only female rapper that does that, too. Some rappers, they block their fans. They get on live and cuss them out, too. Like, <laughs> we've seen it. So it's like, okay, Cardi B cussed out a few fans. She blocked them. Like, if you're not happy, yo, there's Ghost Glorilla dropped the album. Go check her out. Meg is on tour. Of course, she's going to pop her shit. That's been the brand her whole time. Like, let's stop acting brand new. Like, you're so appalled that Cardi came and, and blocked you or cursed you out. That's what she does. She's from the Bronx. She doesn't hold back. Like, I understand we've been waiting forever, but it's definitely coming. I'm just a YouTuber. I don't know any inside anything. I just have a feeling. And I know this year is definitely going to be the year. And if not, okay, go stand somebody else if she's not your cup of tea, if she's taking too long. You need music from other people, but I feel like she has been consistent and I will give her her flowers on that. So that's that. Come on, Cardi, drop this album. We are waiting. Um, and when it comes, it comes, but we're going to be here for it. Okay. Now, moving on, I want to speak on the BET Awards um, because I find it interesting that Drake is leading the BET Award nominations along with Nicki Minaj. Um, I feel like, hmm, will Drake actually show up? Like, if you've been under a rock, he's pretty much been getting bodied from every single direction. Musically, there are rappers doing instrumentals to BBL Drizzy. There's people doing TikToks to Kendrick Lamar's disses. I mean, it's not stopping. And, um, you know, I don't know. Is it a good, is it good for him to show up, guys? Like, after you haven't been there since, like, 2011 or something. It's been, like, 10 years. Drake doesn't really show up for the Hip Hop Awards or the BET or, like, you know, the culture type of awards where you think, as a Black artist, that's where you're most respected. So, but also, y'all, I feel like it's a catch-22 because if he does show up to the awards, it's like, oh, now you're going to come over here so you can get that credibility, you know, so you can clear your name. But at the same time, y'all, I want to see Kendrick Lamar there too. Kendrick, he's number one in the country right now. I want to hear either Euphoria and then get into some Not Like Us performance. You know what I'm saying? And we need that. I feel like the culture needs that. I don't think Drake is going to show up. I really don't. I feel like Kendrick is going to be performing. He's going to sweep a few awards. And I want to get into who I think will win. Um, based on the nominees. But yeah, I just don't think that Drake is going to show up. And if he does, it's going to be really interesting to see how he moves, especially considering you got beef with almost every rapper. Um, you called out everybody, Ross, Future. Um, you know, so it's going to be like some tension there. It's going to be a weird feeling, but I don't think he's going to show up. Neither do I think Nicki Minaj will show up, but she might. I don't know. She's been on tour. She is outside. And... I don't know if she's going to show up because there is some tension with her and Ice and some other female rappers she worked with. I don't know. So let's get into the nominees real quick before I get off of here. And then let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, they got album of the year, Chris Brown, 1111, Gunna, Gift and a Curse, 21 Savage, American Dream, Usher, Coming Home, Drake for All the Dogs. Victoria Monet, Jaguar 2, Killer Mike Michael, Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2. Wow. Um, I, I, I want to say Breezy had the best album of the year. Y'all know I'm a big Breezy fan, but I'm trying to be unbiased. Um, 21 Savage had a huge album that was killing it. So I would either give it to Chris Brown or 21 Savage. 
Moving on. Best female R&B pop artist, Beyonce, Coco Jones, Doja Cat, Her, uh, Money Long, SZA, Tyla, and Victoria Monet. Uh, why is Doja Cat in female R&B? Okay. Money Long had a huge breakout single. SZA has been killing it. Um, so has Beyonce. I think I will probably give this to Tyler had a big single too. Probably to SZA because she's been on tour. Her singles have been at the top of the charts. This is for last year. I think, yeah, she was killing it last year. Mm -hmm, I will give it to SZA. Okay, moving on. Best male R&B pop artist, Brent Phases. Sorry if I messed up your name. Bryson Tiller, Burner Boy, Chris Brown, Drake, Friday, October London, and Usher. First of all, why is Drake in the male R&B? See, that's why he's not going to show up. <laughs> why is he there? Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like Chris Brown, again, his album was everything. If you haven't heard it, hit that 11-11. But Usher, he's doing his thing too. Super Bowl, great album, great singles. It's a tough one. I might have to go with Usher on this. I might have to go with Usher on this. Yeah. Okay, best group. We got Ye, Ty Dollar Sign, and them. Um, Two Chains and Little Wayne, 41. Who is that? I tried to research a little bit. I see it was like a hip hop group from Brooklyn. I gotta research them and um see what's popping with them. Blast and Bino, Raidu. Sorry if I messed up your name. City Girls, Flow, Maverick City Music, and Warmore. Sorry if I messed that up too. I don't know half these people, and I only heard a few of these. I'm gonna go with Two Chains and Little Wayne <laughs> because I've heard their album and their singles, and it's kind of hard. So I feel like a, a lot of y'all gonna say Ty Dolla Sign and Yay, which I get too. Um, but okay. Best collaboration, Lil Durk and J. Cole, All My Life, Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, America Has a Problem remix, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Barbie World, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Bongos, Yay, Ty Dolla Sign, Rich the Kid, Playboy, Cardi, Carnival, Lola Monroe, Lotto, Young Miami, Don't Play With It remix, Nicki featuring Uzi, Everybody, Usher, Summer Walker, Tony One Savage, Good Good, Drake, Sexy Red, SZA, Rich Baby Daddy. All these songs were big, yo. This is a really hard one. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe Drake should take this one, him and Sexy Red, because that was a pretty big deal, their collaboration. And we all know Drake jumps on the song with everybody that, that comes out. But yeah, um, so I'll give that to them. Best collaboration. But you know, Usher, Summer Walker, 21 Savage, Good Good. I think that really hit the charts kind of hard too. Like I was really playing that back for like a good month straight. They did their thing on that. Yeah. And I do like everybody, Nikki and Uzi song. It's catchy. I played it a few times. It wasn't because I got like sick of hearing it after that. Okay, moving on. Best female hip hop artist. Okay, somebody's getting jumped. Okay, Cardi B, Doja Cat, Glorilla, Ice Spice, Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, and Sexy Red. To me, I'm going to say Sexy because she had a huge year. She's still doing it. Everything she gets on, it seems like it goes to the charts. It's popping. And she's been all over the place. Um, I feel like Doja Cat, too, was eating last year, too, with Scarlett. She ate with that album. She had like two singles in the top 10 for a few months. And I feel like Glorilla deserves it too because she was putting in work within um, last year, this year. She climbed up the charts slowly but surely with Yeah Glow and just her swag. And she's really been everywhere. So I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, you know, Nikki, she put out her album. She's been on tour. Meg's been doing her thing too. Lotto. I mean, they all really been doing it. It's kind of hard. Cardi B has been putting out her singles and remixes. 
It's a tough one, but I'll go with sexy. Let me go with sexy. Um, best male hip hop artist, 21, Burner Boy, Drake, Future, Gunna, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Lil Wayne. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. And this is going off just off of two weeks ago. <laughs> Period. Kendrick Lamar shut it down so hard for me. He has the number one single in the country that I am not. He took everybody's shine as far as male hip hop to me. Okay. And video of the year, we got Doja Cat, Agora Hills, Lil Dirk, J. Cole, All My Life, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Barbie World, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, Bongos, Drake featuring J. Cole, First Person Shooter, Usher, Summer Walker, 21, Good Good, Victoria Monet, My Mama, Drake, Sexy Red, Rich Baby Daddy. I think I want to give it to... I feel like Bongos did that. Um, people hate it on the song, but the visuals were amazing and outstanding and beautifully directed. It was amazing. Um, but I think Drake's Sexy Red 2 was a big deal. Um, so I would say between those two, yeah. As far as video of the year, I can't pick. Is this the last one? Best New Artist, 41, Four Bats, Aurora Star, Boss Mandilo, Friday, October London, Sexy Red, and Tyla. I don't know who half these guys are, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm going to give it to Sexy Red, clearly. She's been everywhere. So, yeah, that's my just two cents on this lovely Thursday here in Atlanta. Yo, thanks, y'all, for checking me out today. I just wanted to hop on here to give my two cents on Cardi B, talk about these awards, and see if Drake is going to show up or not. Um, yo, thanks for following me, guys. Yo, check out my music videos. Um, they're on my channel anyway and flip side. Yo, throw a fire up there if you think it's fire. Like the video. If you think it's trash, let me know. Leave a little trash basket on there. But um, I appreciate it. And just thanks for checking me out. Yo, um, I'm out of here for now. But I'll catch you on the next reaction or the next little chat we need to have. Um, it's your boy Chris on the gram. Peace.